I do not waste my time on the laity. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. So, you seek to enter Batal, I presume? I'll have to check your permit. Leave this place at once. You have no right to be here. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, excellent find. Let's take it easy today. My knowledge are acting up. We've naught to discuss. Pray, give me no more grief. Shall we seek out the young man from the other day? Pray, allow me to show you the way. You have our gratitude. Lead the way. <sighs> Apologies, but I can't offer you a ride, sir. Cart ought to make our journey easier. It would allow us to save our strength, assuming we are not attacked, that is. <laughs> this ox cart's bound for Vernworth. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. What's this now? This ox cart's bound to see some coin before I let you on. Very well. 
I shall return. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Oh, excellent find. Welcome to Bjorn's Art. And quality is what you need if you want. To survive. Many thanks. I appreciate the business. Fancy a look at my wares? Always a pleasure. Gather round, gather what did you think of that story? It was well told and all, but not particularly exciting, eh? I mean, it's the sort of thing you hear bandied about the tavern every other night, isn't it? I'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here to learn his ways. Haven't learned much, that's for sure. And by the look of it, he doesn't appear to be making much for his efforts, neither. So where's all his coin coming from, then? Makes a man wonder it does. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tailor. Shall we seek out the young man from the other day? Pray, allow me to show you the way. Hoy, friend! Have a great time for me today? I dare say we're owed you another talk. There's something I've come to understand during my stolen hours exploring these streets, and I wanted to share it with you. Every last resident in this city is wholeheartedly devoted to living out their lives. It seems a simple observation, I know, but to me, it was a revelation. For it made me painfully aware of my own position. Can this existence of mine even be called living when I am so doted upon by my mother? I want to live a life I can proudly call my own and to achieve it with all that my heart desires. I tire of enduring my mother's coddling and of having to mind every twitch in her face in order to appease her. Looking at this box, it fills me with courage. It is proof that I am not my mother's servant to be willed about as she pleases. It is something I obtained of my own will, though it came to me through you, of course. Pray, take this with my thanks. It is quite a rarity as I hear it. I hope it is to your liking. Now, I'd best be off. I may not be able to wander the city again for some time. There's aught I would do. Thus, I cannot say when next we'll see each other. Though, I feel sure we shall in time. Uh, perhaps sooner than we might think. <laughs> Till then, take care, friend. That was quite a gift. I hope that procuring it was not a burden upon the lad. Indeed, you are correct. Displaying bowmanship for an elf. My hand would tremble on the string if it were me. I expect you'll do just fine. Follow me, Master. I shall guide you to the location. A guide is most welcome. 
Now we shan't lose our way. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. Aye, got some coin to spare your humble storyteller. Much appreciated. Aye, got some coin to spare you. What would you of me? I'll have no trouble, thank you. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by... I'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here to learn his ways. But it's clear this storytelling's got little to do with his wealth. So where's he get his coin, then? Makes a man wonder it does. Could be he's involved in something untoward, eh? Will nothing exciting ever happen here? I've no wish to speak with you, sir. Oh, what does this say? Me? Just going for a stroll. Good day, sir. Hmm. Do you want something? That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? And should my story entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Hmm. Must finding these be so difficult? Our collection grows. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. was a fascinating tale those soldiers outside the palace were discussing. Regarding the Queen Regent, and an important personage, you mean? Indeed. Some suppose there is more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Troubles clean 
Really now. You mustn't shirk your duty. Lest you forget, tis the arisen we serve here. How might I be of service? Now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. Perhaps it is time we returned to our base of operations and deposited some of our finds. Need anything? anything? Seems my feet favors all we should need anything. With a ferry stone in hand, we can travel wheresoever we please. Take pity on...
You! My, my! I'm trapped like a rat in a cage. This arisen's both shrewd and fleet of foot. Ah, tis obvious, no? I am an agent, of a sort. Let's just say there are some who don't want you wandering about as you please. I was to report on your comings and goings, you see. But I suppose that job's over, now you've found me out. So, how about it, friend? Will you let me go? I've no reason to trouble you any further. Aye, aye. You'll have your coin. That's how this works, isn't it? Greed will get you nowhere, friend. But worry not. You won't need it where you're headed. Let my magic grant you an elemental room. You there! Halt! Shit! We're in for it now. With all likelihood, he is an agent dispatched from Batal. Pray, let us handle the rest. We will hear all he has to say before the week is out. I bid you, wait till then. Yes, sir! Ugh. We shall see how bold you are in irons. Do not. Above all, we will have need of allies to our cause, though I dare say, they shall not easily be found. Ugh. We shall... Do not test me. This place is down to the I've had well enough of you. Gather round, gather round. Try, got some coin to spare your humble. It's much appreciated. 
Aye, got some coin to spare your humble... It's much appreciated. I'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here. So where's he get his coin then? Makes a man wonder. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my tale entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Now, listen close, as today I shall speak of riddles and monsters with frightful mystique. In the north of Vermont is our curious tale staged, where ventured a hero off left off the page. He delved into a temple of baleful feature, only to be confronted by a four-legged creature. But when our hero drew his blade, unto him a demand was made. And who the asker? Why, the beast! An uncanny affair, to say the least. Yet there was no time for shock and dismay, as answer my riddle, did the fearsome thing say. The trickery was clear. To respond meant certain doom, but in the midst of his answer, he'd doubtless be consumed. So a mighty attack did our hero dispense, to conquer his foe and banish it thence. With a single strike was the towering beast repelled, to quail in fear at the mortal strength it beheld. Such is the legacy of Lord Rosamond, who, needless to say, was the father of House Berkeley, which lives on to this day. Gather round, gather round, treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my tale entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't. I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Now, listen close, as today... I was taught not to speak with strange folk. Welcome to the Star Trek. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Always a pleasure. Whatever it is you want, I shan't oblige. Welcome to the sweet serve all manner of fine ales here. Always a pleasure. Welcome to the stu- We serve all manner of fine ales here. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the finest brews in all of Vernworth. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the finest brew. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Ah, yes. Regarding your pursuer from some days past, as we suspected. He was indeed an agent from Batal. When he learnt of your majesty's escape, he began inquiring after your movements. Tis a glad thing we captured him before matters escalated. As to how he learned your majesty's location with such ease, I intend to extract the answers from him anon. I shall be sure to inform you when I do. Pray, take this. 
Tis the least I can offer for your majesty's assistance. So the agent was of Batal after all. Tis rather eerie that someone should be sent across the border to spy on you. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. For some time now, T'was said that the false sovereign was recovering from his battle wounds. But as I hear it, he is now well enough to walk unaided. And so, in honor of his supposed valor, they have been holding masquerade in the palace of late. The false sovereign's identity is still beyond our ken. Even the matter of from where he hails remains a mystery. But may up approaching the false sovereign that one of these gatherings could afford you a glimpse into the man behind the mark. What say you, your majesty? My thanks. Some of the sentries posted at the masquerades are under my command. I shall have them ease security. So pray, slip into the venue through whatever opening presents itself. Once your infiltration is successful, you will need only don a mask and act the part of an invitee. Few will think to be wary if they believe you a fellow masquerader. Here, this should suffice to help you blend in. Take care, your majesty. Ah, there is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, you will require suitable raiment. Much is made of appearances at such gatherings, and t'would be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. I've had well enough of you. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Welcome. Welcome to the Star Drop. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start? How extraordinary. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeeper understands. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. Hmm. Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. mind coming over here? I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. Arms, arms for the poor. Pray grant those less fortunate some salvation. Over here, if you please. 
This place offers a view of the sea. I imagine we would not escape a plunge into the water's depths. Rejoice, my darling, for your Albert is returned. Welcome home, dear. I spend my days spinning yarns, only to come home to a wife for whose radiance I have no words. If there is a more fortunate fool in the city, I have yet to meet him. Oh, you bold-faced flatterer! What would you of me? I'll have no trouble, thank you. Would you mind coming over here? Well met. This here is the sanctuary. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Well, I net. Interested in my wares? Listen up, you lot. Albert, king of beggars, has come to quench your thirsts. Aye, the ale's on me tonight, so drink up, my friends. Drink your fill. Just be sure you mind your manners. Follow me, if you would. What would you of me? I'll have no trouble. Flows are plenty here, courtesy of you. Make it. What's your business with me, Cot? Is it true you're the Arisen? That's what I've heard, anyhow. Only, I seem to recall someone else boasting of being the Arisen over in the tavern about six months ago. Ladies and gentlemen, I beg a moment of your time. Leave me be. Marriage isn't taught its choice. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We cannot. What do you want to talk to me? Interested in my wares? What? What would you of me? I'll have no trouble. I've not the patience to deal with you. I've not the patience.
gossip to be had here, I'll venture. They have a lot to be getting. I'd sooner not associate with drunkards. I thought I smelled a rat. So what do I end up feeling here, even after a day of rest? Puts me in the mood for a second. I'm going to make it a coin here. I pity those content to live in idleness. Off with you. And well met. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Pleasure doing business with you. You don't look like much. Arms, arms for the poor. Pray grant those less fortunate some salvation. As I recall, we have another matter to attend to in this domain. Perhaps we ought to go there first. What say you, Arisen? It seems you must attend a palace masquerade if you were to meet the one who would falsely claim your title. Shall we make for Burnworth Palace? I can accompany you to the castle entrance, Master, but no further. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. We have arrived. It seems we must part ways for the time being. from your station, are you not? I was bored out my skull guarding the palace. At least... The way to ought to be said to flatten our first sovereign in decades. At last, we will see the end of the age of proxies. Have you heard? There's been more restrictions the on Arisen goods traded with Batar. Apparently, even privately owned items will come to be
such a cheap drink. It is not at all to my taste. Wait for the new equipment to come. These masks are not but a hindrance. Yeah, what was the shame? This place is very much. So tell me. Twouldn't do to meddle in each other's affairs here. Another fancy... Mm. Why... You're... No. Pay me no mind. We who are gathered here are naught but nameless nobles. It would be uncouth to inquire after another's identity. Doubt he must first meet with the queen. Another ale can't make my dancing any worse. Weren't you listening? I told you to get lost. No time to talk, I'm afraid. I'm a busy man. I like to come here when I need an The occasion demands we forego boorish. This place is very much. Hmm. All I can do for you. I do so enjoy that. It's quiet you. It's a blessing. Best to remain sober. Make yourself scarce now. Perchance you've heard. The coronation is the sovereign, wounded in glorious combat with the dragon, is recovered at last. No, indeed. It is a weight off my heart to think that our fair vermin shall once again be governed by a true ruler. You're the last person I'd waste my time on. <laughs> Let us forget the dragon and dance the night away. Is this fast truly to the sub?
Ah, the old days for the us perfect are a sign of city all the while. Weren't you listening? I told you to get lost. Just between you and me, my survey missions through the caverns and ruins have been more trouble than I foresaw. My task is to seek out items of potential value and research them. And twas going well too, till I found that door. Tis an enigma. Forged of strange materials and covered in queer etchings, but my orders are to get to the bottom of it. So back and forth I go on an endless string of expeditions. I grow wearier with every trip, but no closer to an answer. I'm a tad preoccupied just now. If you can't tell, you ought to learn when to leave well enough alone. No time to talk, I'm afraid. I'm a busy man. all this revelry to help the Sovereign heal. Have you business in Batal? Then you, good sir, will rec- Don't go thinking you can slip through the border checkpoint without one. Too many scoundrels are trying that of late. Trade twixt our nations may be on the upswing, but passage of reg so, should you seek entry in future, I bid you take the proper channels. Weren't you listening? Art Is there aught you require? Pray, leave me be, sir. Pray. Leave me be. You ought to go there first. What say you, Arisen? You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing where it seems you must attend a palace masquerade if you're to meet the one who would falsely claim your title. Could you come over here? Finishes without incident.
I shan't let anything spoil my evening. Methinks I'll have a rest. My feet ache from dancing. Surely these extravagances cannot continue. I find it liberating to hide my face for a... <laughs> Let us forget the... Everyone who dances with me complains of sore feet. Is there aught you require? They're the same. Tired faces in the same tired forms. Another ale can't make my dancing any worse. You've my gratitude. I find it... Splendid! I find it liberating. We who are gathered here are naught but nameless nobles. It would be uncouth to inquire after another's identity. Mm. No. We who are gathered here... between you and me. My, my task is to seek out tis an enigma. So back and forth. I... Everyone who dances.